What's up, y'all? Long time no see. I know. I know. But guess what? We are back. Today, I'm doing like a little summer reset. I am off today. It's actually Juneteenth and I had the day off. So I decided that I wanted to do something fun, but also be productive. And randomly, when I got on TikTok this morning, this cute coffee shop popped up on my For You page that's in Arlington. So I was like, I'm gonna just go there and try a new coffee place. So I'm here. I just parked and I'm excited because I don't know. I just like trying new things. I'm going to go to the coffee shop, obviously get coffee, get a little, I was going to say breakfast Sammy, but it's like lunchtime now, but get a little Sammy. And I think I'm going to do a little work. I need to do some things for my family reunion. I think I told y'all I was like planning my family reunion and there's just like some final things that I need to put together for like a run of show game plan. So it's all laid out. So everybody knows what we're doing. So I just want to do that. Our reunion is next week. I am literally so excited. Like I'm excited for it to be here, but I'm also excited for it to be over so I can like not have to do anything with it like I'm sure it's gonna be fun and I'm gonna have a great time but like this whole process has been like an ordeal and I just want to be free of it until it's time for me to help with it for next year but anyway that's what I'm doing so I just wanted to let y'all know because I'm probably not gonna talk because I've never been in this I've never been here before I don't know what it's like inside none of that so I'm going to show you guys the coffee shop it's called badass coffee of Hawaii apparently it's like a Hawaii coffee shop but they have a location here in Arlington so hopefully it's good they have like coffee ice cubes that they put in the drink which is so cool so I'm excited and then they do like the spam like sandwiches like you would get in Hawaii which is really cool so I'm excited for this because one I haven't had coffee today so I'm excited for coffee and two I'm just excited because I'm having an Ashley day it feels like an Ashley day because I think I'm gonna go to the Nordstrom Rack I've been on a Nordstrom Rack kick lately so I think I'm gonna go to a Nordstrom Rack that's on this side before I go back home and then I'm gonna go home and do like some productive stuff so anyway i just wanted to let y'all know what i'm doing what we'll be doing today so yeah let's let's go get this coffee because i'm starving and i haven't had coffee like i said so let me go Uh, so change plans because it was far too crowded in there and they only had like three tables that's the one thing i'll be hating about like coffee shops that aren't starbucks they literally have no seating area like why would you only build <sighs> whatever like i said change of plans we're gonna eat in the car now why is this on i guess that was helping so i'm gonna eat in the car because it was just too many people everywhere and i just could not be bothered and then after i eat this then we're gonna go to nordstrom rack because it clearly was just meant for me to go to Nordstrom Rack sooner than later. And I'll just do my productivity work or whatever when I get home. Why does it keep getting dark? Let me turn the car on though. It's a little warm. Okay, so first things first. I already drank like most of my coffee because that was the other thing. I know I just, I'm a complainer y'all. I'm sorry. But it took me over 10 minutes to get my sandwich. Like the drink was made so quick. And then I had to wait like 10 minutes for the dang sandwich. But I got Beach Bliss, which is, I think it's macadamia nut and macadamia nut and... <laughs> Let me just tell you. Because I was going to keep it basic and do what I normally do and get the caramel and vanilla one. But I was like, no, try something new. Like, you get that all the time. Do something different. Okay, the Beach Bliss is white chocolate and macadamia nut. And it's pretty good. I like it. I just wish I would have had it at the same time my sandwich. But yeah, it's good. I would come here again for that. And then I got the Badass One Sandwich, which is like Spam Cheese. I think barbecue sauce and I feel like pineapple might be on this could be wrong but this is what it looks like it's a little messy yeah pineapple cheese egg yeah so let's taste it that's pretty good there's no pineapple in that bite but it's pretty good. I'm not gonna hold y'all. My grandmother raised us on spam, so like I don't eat it now, but the spam be hitting. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm not gonna hold you. Spam hits still. I do wish it was a little more crispy though. I will say that. Could be a little crispier. What? Feel good. Cute 
place. I like it. I could see the hype. I hope it's not busy like that all the time, although I think it might be. But it's also kind of lunchtime, so maybe. I and mean, I guess other people are off today. It's hard to call it with Juneteenth because, like, it's a bank holiday, but, like, everybody's not off, which is weird. Like, my brother had to wait today, so I don't know. But, yeah, this is pretty good. It could use a little, you know, how we zhuzh up things. It could use a little bit of that, but overall, pretty good for, us, like, a stock sandwich. You know, like, a just heat up joint. I would definitely get this again. And I probably will come here again on not a holiday or maybe when they open like the first thing in the morning mm. okay that was a lot of pineapple in that bite i don't hate it but i don't know if i like it on there i wonder if you can get it without that or if it's like pre i don't know i'm just not a fan of fruit on like savory foods personally all right i'm gonna finish eating this and then i'm gonna check back on my job I'm back home. It's a little bit later. Nordstrom Rack was a fail. Well, not a fail, but they didn't have what I was looking for in the colors that I wanted. So I was looking for a bag and they didn't have the colors I wanted. So now I'm back home. I found myself getting very lazy because I was on the couch. Like I needed to take a break after I got back, but now I need to do my chores. So I'm going to have a little cookie to give me some motivation. I just don't feel like doing it anymore, but I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna wash my sheets, do laundry, and tidy up my bathroom. I feel like what I need. Yeah, so cue the cleaning montage. Hopefully, this won't take too long. It's a hit on the Neptunes and the doggy dog finna spit. You know he's in tune with the season. Come in, baby, tell me why you leaving. Tell me if it's that you need. If you want to breathe, I got the best minus C. Ain't nobody tripping. VIP, they can't get it. If something go wrong, then you know I'm we get to crippin'. With a G from Los Angeles, where the helicopters got cameras just to get a glimpse of our chucks and our khakis and our bouncing cars. You with your friend, right? Yeah, she ain't trying to bring over no men, right? No, she ain't gotta be in the distance, she can get hot all in an instant. Pop cream sodas. I just felt like putting it in a wine glass because 
why not it tastes better that way anyway i'm done my chores laundry's done i have clean sheets on my bed i folded up one load and the other loads in the dryer so i'll fold that one later maybe later today but probably tomorrow so yeah i have been seeing like on social media people doing like summer bucket lists i personally have never heard of that i didn't know people did that but apparently like it's like a common thing that people used to do when they were like kids so i love the idea and i want to put together a summer bucket list because one i feel like i don't even remember what i did last summer tbh and then also i think i had crabs once and that's not okay like i need to be having crabs like at least i'm not gonna say once a week but like frequently and i just feel like i need to be more intentional with my time especially for summer because like last year i blinked and it was fall like and i again i can't remember what i even did last summer so i don't want that to happen this summer so i'm gonna put together a bucket list summer bucket list of things that i want to do and it doesn't have to be like anything crazy and it's not gonna it's just gonna be like random stuff like go get ice cream or like i don't know go lay out by the pool like stuff like that so i think that would be fun and i'm also gonna do like a little mood board on pinterest of just like what i want my summer vibe i hate using the word vibe but what i want my summer vibe to be like and just for like inspiration because i just feel like i'm excited for summer and i just want to make the most of it and i just like doing things like that so right now i'm about to get on pinterest and make my little mood board and actually if you guys are interested i'm gonna share it in the description below i'm gonna link it like the board <laughs> in case you want to see it or if you want some inspiration and do your own like i would love to see y'all's if you do make one so i feel like i just entered the wrong password and i did so yeah i'm just about to i don't like that it's yellow like that but yeah i'm about to just get on pinterest and pull some photos and find my summer vibe cringe at saying vibe again also i have jurassic park playing in the background did I watch it last night when it was on? I did. Is it on again today and I'm going to watch it again? I am. Because if it's on, I'm going to watch it. Let's get into it. I love a Pinterest board. I never knew there was a love like this before. Never had someone to show me a love. Love like this before. I never knew there was a love like this before. Never had someone to show me a love. Okay y'all, so it is way later now. It's like nine o'clock. I obviously went down a rabbit hole with this Pinterest board, but it's okay. I made a really cute board, I think, and it's filled with like all my favorite, all my favorite, all the things I want to do this summer. And I made my summer bucket list. There's a lot of things on here. I'm not sure I will be able to do all of them, but the ideas were flowing. So we have quite a few things that we could possibly do. So it's like, I can never be like, I'm bored or I wish I was doing something. And they're all like things that I could like easily do it's not like go to bali for a week like it's like realistic things that i could like do this summer so anyway i want to show y'all a couple of my favorite pins because i'm just so excited and i feel like i need visualization and so i feel like this will motivate me to like be intentional with my time and like do what i say i want to do because every summer i'm always like oh, i want to do this i want to do that and then yeah so we're not having it this year so first one i'm going to show you guys is probably an obvious one this one is a picture of crabs because like i said i think i had crabs one time last summer and that is just like disrespectful like I love crabs and it's actually embarrassing so I need to have several crab feasts or times that I have crabs this summer it could be solo it could be with friends it could be with family I don't care who's with but I need to have crabs at my house at somebody else's house I need to go to a crab house like I need to do all of those things so that is definitely top three I was gonna say number one on my list but it's top three top three things that need to happen this summer the next thing that I really want to do is is I want to have a pool day like I love well I love laying out but I prefer to lay out by the pool versus by the beach just because of the sand but I like going to the beach because it's the beach but then I'm like picky like I need the water to be blue blah 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 but pool days are my favorite I love a good pool day I love sitting by the pool with you know my tanning lotion so I can get bronze mommy and a good drink some appetizers you know a little finger food some fries a little lobster roll something like that so I really want to make sure that I spend as much time as possible by a pool getting tanned because again, last summer, I think, did I go to the pool? I didn't think I went to the pool last summer. Embarrassing again. So I need to go to the pool. I need to find like a cute pool near me that I can like go to because I'm not going to my community pool. Um, I just don't want to go to that. It's not, it's not the vibe. Here we are again with, with the word vibe. 
Clearly, it's my favorite word. The other thing I want to do this summer is take more pictures on my Polaroid. I have the wide one, like the big one, and I think I want to get the normal size one also. Like, I like both, but I think I want the smaller version. But in general, I just want to take more pictures. I also should put disposable camera on here because I want to take more disposable camera pictures too. I just want more like tangible pictures. Like, I have a million pictures on my phone that I just, I can print. I do have a Polaroid printer and I do print them sometimes, but I just want like, you know, the, the in the moment like I took this picture I want to do that so more Polaroids more pictures disposable camera I will need to find a place to get them developed because the last time I had a disposable camera for my 30th birthday I took it to get developed at Walgreens and they lost it and like it was never found so now I'm pissed but I'm not gonna let that deter me also this summer I want to have like a picnic or something like it could be at the beach it could be in a park or somewhere like I really want to have a cute picnic I want to get a cute basket and maybe do like wine and like a cute spread okay i want to do two kinds of picnics i want to do like a cute like wine finger foods like cutesy that kind of picnic but then i want to do another kind of picnic where i bring like all my favorite foods like maybe some popeyes chick-fil-a favorite chips you know watermelon obviously drinks that kind of like just everybody's favorite food that's junk food to go along with the picnic theme or gathering idea like i want to have more like friend get togethers i kind of want to host something at my house i don't know what yet like i don't know if i want to do a brunch or if i want to do like crab feast or a cookout but i want to do something i want to host my friends at my house for something that requires me getting my deck together and that's just that's a whole project so that will be dependent on if i actually do that but in theory i want to have something at my house i want to post something at my house for my friends also we want to be active this summer and i just feel like i want to cosplay a lot of things me and simone were talking about this and she was like she's a barbie because she doesn't want to have the same job she wants to do like a bunch of different jobs and i feel like i want to do that with like activities i want to play golf this summer i want to be a golf girl like do i want to do it because the outfits are cute partly yes i do but also i just think it's cool like it's not really something that i know much about i didn't grow up like watching golf or learning about golf or any of that like it's not a thing that is like common in you know so i just think it would be cool to learn how to play like get like basic foundation techniques i don't want to take golf lessons i don't know if i will be able to this summer but i at least want to go like i'm on golf talk obviously for all the like cute golf girls that actually like play golf like not just like for cutesy like what i would be doing but like they're actually good and so they like give tips and stuff and they say that there's like a lot of like helpful information on like youtube and stuff so i think i might do that if i can't get lessons i at least want to go to the golf course a couple times to just like practice so yeah that's on my list and also i want to play tennis i've never played tennis I don't think I've ever played tennis. So same thing, cute outfits, but also like I want to play tennis. Like I think it's, it looks like a fun sport. Obviously it's active, but I think it would be fun. So I want to play golf and tennis or take lessons or something like that. Like obviously I'm not going to be good initially, but I want it to be something that like I do, like it is an activity for me. Like I want to work my way up to be like, I play golf or like, yeah, I play tennis or like, you know what I'm saying? So those are my list of things to, like try slash, you know, pick up and practice doing i feel like i'm about to tell y'all my whole list well this is not even my whole list i'm just sharing my favorite pictures ice cream is a big one i just want to get ice cream rita's soft serve regular ice cream snow cones like the whole nine i want all the ice creams this summer i'm gonna go to different places and get ice cream there's just so many good pictures on here i want to go to a fair slash carnival whichever one I, I don't know what the difference is but want to go to a carnival because i want to eat the junk food i need fried dough fried oreos funnel cake fried everything i don't know if i would get on the rides normally yeah, i do be getting on the rides but like my friends been like reminding me that it's literally like a pack and play ride like they fold it up and take it and so it's literally not safe but you know you get one life i don't know but whatever i really like that <laughs> I really want to go to a carnival and I think it would just be really fun. I also want to take a day trip somewhere. I don't care where it is. Like it doesn't have to be like the beach or anything. I do want to take a trip to the beach, but a day trip somewhere that I've never been, whether it's like a new city or I don't know, just somewhere fun for the day. And then I also want to take like a weekend trip somewhere. It doesn't have to be far, somewhere fun again that I've, I'm going to say that I've never been, but it doesn't have to be somewhere that I've never been. Like I could see myself going somewhere to like Rehoboth or Virginia Beach, somewhere 
somewhere close like for the weekend just to like get away and I also want to do a staycation which is self-explanatory so just going somewhere you know and just spending time away from home it doesn't have to be like a major thing it could be somewhere close I want to go to a Nats game this summer I like sporting events like I'm not the biggest sports fan but I love going to sporting events like the games that is very fun to me I just like being there the atmosphere the food drinks like I just like that whole thing so I want to go to a Nats game this summer. Okay, so the last one is like not like, it doesn't have to be this vibe, like at the beach type thing, but I want to read one book this summer. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but I am not a reader. I do not read for fun. Reading is not fun to me, but I feel like if I found something that was like enjoyable to me or like a genre that is interesting where I can like just escape reality, I think I would enjoy it. So I want to try to read one book this summer and it can be like anything. It doesn't have to be like a self-help book or like a motivational. Like I literally want it to be something fun. So I want to really try, even if I read one page a day until the end of the summer, I want to read one book, just one book. And somehow unrelated to, well, related to this topic, but somehow I have ended up on book talk. I don't even know how, because again, I don't read. Like, I don't know what I liked that caused me to be on book talk, but like, I don't know. I just like how the girls are like, they have book dates. They go to Barnes and Nobles and spend time there. They pick out books and then they talk about books and everybody's in the comments. Like I want those feels like getting a new book, having like a whole little reading date, like a nice drink, a cute little reading corner, something like that. Like I want to make it an experience. I feel like I would like it more if it were an experience. So I'm going to try. Keyword is try. Don't hold me to that because again, reading is not fun for me, but I want to, I want to step out of my comfort zone and, and, and try to read. So those are a few of the summer bucket list items that I have on my list. This was actually very fun. I love making Pinterest boards. It was fun putting this together. It has me re-excited for summer because I'm going to recreate all of these, except it's going to be my experiences and it's going to be fun. And yeah, I hope you guys are like excited for summer because I literally am so excited for summer. Like I want to have something to think about other than work. Like I'm upset that I have to go to work just because like I don't want to work. It's summertime, but like we must. So I need things to look forward to outside of work. So this is going to be my thing to look forward to after work. And I'm gonna see how many of these things I can cross off on my bucket list. I wanna know what you guys are doing this summer or what you wanna do this summer. So let me know in the comments what you're looking forward to doing or maybe you don't know yet, think about it. And then let me know what you wanna do this summer because I feel like we just need to enjoy the time that we have. We're all very blessed to be here and be alive. And so any day that we're given, we should be doing something that brings us some sort of joy, of course, within reason. But, you know, I just want to maximize on the time that God has given me. And I don't want to, I don't want the time to like pass me by because lately it just feels like time is flying. I don't know what the hurry is, but it was just Christmas. Literally yesterday, it was just Christmas. And now it's 4th of July weekend is the week after next. I'm very much whiplash because everything is just far too quickly moving and I just can't keep up. But anyway, I'm rambling once again. So yeah, again, if you're interested, I'm gonna link my Pinterest board below if you wanna take a look. The other thing I wanna talk about for summer is summer skincare and hygiene products because yes, we need to talk about it. So first things first, you already know what I'm gonna mention. My staple for the summer, I mean, I jump back and forth, but like my main, my main girl this summer is going to be Way St. Bart's scent, like the collection. Body scrub, body wash, body cream, full lineup. Those are top three, but that is gonna be the rotation of summer and the scent of summer for me. So yeah, if you haven't smelled it already, I feel like I've talked about it several times. It literally smells like summer. It smells like tropical. It smells like vacation. It's everything that you need and more. And then also I need a summer perfume. My perfume that I really liked from last summer by Philosophy, I think it's called Tropical Summer. I randomly found it at TJ Maxx last summer and it's like nowhere which is so annoying because it smells so good. And like, I think I've seen a couple listings on like eBay or something, but I just, I'm not doing that. So yeah, I've been looking for a summer scent, like summer perfume. Obviously y'all know vanilla is always gonna be my go-to. And sidebar, speaking of vanilla, Kayali's Utopia Vanilla Cocoa, I smell that, I need that. That can be worn for me year round. So I'm not as in a rush to get that one, but it is on my list of next fragrances to cop because it smells so good. Like, like it smells so good. Y'all know me, Vanilla Mommy all the way, and it smells delightful. But the summer one that I was talking about is by The Seven Virtues in Coconut Sun. It smells so good. Like I need to try it again. I tested it recently at Sephora, but I feel like 
I couldn't really get a sense long term of the smell because I had already had on another perfume. So I want to try it again one more time before I pull the trigger. But I think this is a contender for my summer scent. It doesn't smell like my tropical summer one, but it smells good. And I think it will go well with the Way St. Bart's. Another lotion that I've been enjoying is the EOS Shea Butter in Coconut Waters. Another one smells very good, goes very well with the St. Bart's body wash. I just like coconut scents. I like coconut. I like tropical. It smells very good. The vanilla cashmere also smells divine, but we're talking about summer scents. So specifically, I'm going to keep it in the coconut family. All of these also go well with the Saltaire Pink Beach. I need to try the body oil. I have not gotten that yet, but I do want to try that. So that is next on my list. They just came out with a body mist. So I think I might try that in the Pink Beach because I feel like that would be good. I don't know if it's at Target yet, but we need to try that. So yeah, I'm trying to think that I cover all the bases. I don't have a sunscreen recommendation because I'm on the hunt for a face sunscreen. I have a few that I want to try out. I want to try out the Summer Fridays one. I want to try Shiseido's. It's like a stick. I want to try theirs. And I want to try the Kosas one. But I'm just like so particular about stuff that I put on my face. So I'm like hesitant to try anything because I don't want it to break me out. And then I have to work to get my skin back normal. So slowly I will be finding a face sunscreen. If you have recommendations, let me know. Like if you have any good ones for sensitive skin. I'm low key might just get one that's for babies and call it a day, but I don't know. I feel like I need to invest in like a good face sunscreen because don't come for me, but I have not been wearing sunscreen on my face. I know I should. I know I should. I'm trying to be better moving forward. So yes, if you have recommendations for a face specific sunscreen that is gentle, preferably a mineral one, actually. I've been doing a little research. I think I do want a mineral sunscreen. So if you have any recommendations, let me know. I will keep you guys posted as I start my journey. So yeah, those are all of the skincare, body care things I feel like I should mention. So I'll keep y'all posted posted on the sunscreen and if I find any other fun summery body products that I've been enjoying. So yeah, I think I'm actually gonna wrap the video here because I'm not doing anything else tonight that's like reset -y. So I'm gonna wrap the video here and I hope you guys enjoyed my summer reset. I hope you guys are as excited about summer as I am. I am so stoked and I can't wait to just like do summer things. Like I feel like I have that like that hypeness from like when I was a kid, like when we had summer break, even though I'm not on summer break, but like I'm just excited to like do things for summer. So I hope you guys find some inspiration from some of the things that I've shared and be sure to let me know what y'all plan on doing this summer because I might want some more ideas. So let me know what you're excited to do this summer and then let me know about the sunscreen if you have any recs. I will see you guys in my next one. Thanks so much for watching. and I'll see you next time. I am